Governor, there is again a re, uh, renewed discussion about need for a development banking. Mm -hmm. uh, what is central bank's um, position on that? Are you re looking at existing development banks to make them much more aligned to the current needs of the economy? Uh, I don't think we have any view on that. That's a policy by the government. If that's a, I have also seen the discussion on uh, need for a, a development bank. Um, so I think there are several times that this has been discussed earlier, but it has not come to a realize. And there also I can remember there's once once there was a budget proposal also, and government will have to first first recommend this government will have to will have to allocate capital. So. Establish a bank, you need a fair amount of capital. So, who is going to bring that capital? Uh, it's a policy decision by the government whether the government will introduce capital and establish a government owned bank or whether it will open up for private sector to come and invest, putting capital in a bank. bank. Those are policy decisions the government will have to make. Yeah, and also, this, this development bank should be able to attract long term, medium to long term funding, uh, source of, sources of funding for them to do. We do long-term businesses. Yeah. <coughs> so why are we continuing to have certain banks calling as development banks? I mean, uh, what's central bank's position? These are development banking is uh, one concept. Name of the bank is a uh, <laughs> different thing. One can have any name of the bank. But that was a develop development was in the name of the bank historically, so it continues. That doesn't mean that's a development bank. It's all are commercial banks now. Um, so I think uh, in in our view, what need to happen is basically all the banks should be able to finance medium to long term projects by the private sector, irrespective of having a dual loan bank or not having a dual loan bank. Uh, it's more important bank sector ability to attract medium to long term so sources sources of funding as well as ability to lend medium long term on the basis of projects. That's all about development banking. It's not necessarily development banking. Historically has been something like giving subsidized loans, getting subsidized credit from say ADBO, other development agencies. I don't think that is a feasible model going forward because we don't get any subsidized credit for that purpose. I even for subsidized credit lending it's not going to work. It has to be market-based long-term, medium long-term lending ability for the banks to raise that kind of funding and also ability to assess the risk properly and have proper uh, you know, lending standards, uh, assess the credit worthiness and uh, support all this medium long-term funding by the, all the banks. So that's, that's why I think uh, this concept of development banking is about uh, lack of uh, this mismatch in lending and borrowing. So banks right now in Sri Lanka, source of funding mainly deposit base, not even longer term. It's a one year deposit are the majority. Difficult to lend longer term when you raise funding through shorter term one year, you know, deposits mobilization. This this has to be changed, and banks should be able to raise more with long term funding so that they can they should be able to lend also on that basis. Even the development bank is established, that bank should be able to do the same thing.